Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Club by Chetan National and today we're gonna review the CR Droid Android ROM for the Galaxy S3 and 9300 and I told you guys I wouldn't let you down and I am back with another review for the Galaxy S3 i9300 and when everybody has forgotten about the s3 i didn't and i got you covered so before we get started i would just like to say that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell as well so that you can be notified when i upload my new videos and don't forget to share the videos as well so let's get into it so it is going to be a short review because the rom does not have much to offer and the rom is simple and based on the stock android and let me show you that the speed is fairly quick considering that the galaxy s3 is an old phone and it is really old right now and but still the rom manages to get a decent amount of speed so let's see this and you go into settings and it is a decent amount of speed i would say and the ROM does come with this old Google Now launcher type launcher which I don't really like. I would really love the Google Pixels launcher. I love the Pixels launcher and that would be just amazing. So the ROM does not come with the Google applications and you do need to install them separately. And don't worry about it. I've made a video about that earlier as well and link to that video will be right over here and go, just go through it and it is a really simple process and the browser is really awkward in this ROM because if you make let's see if you make another tab it is really hard to get to the previous tab that you were working on and I don't really know how to get to the previous tab that I was working on so sometimes this thing work you go back back and you go to the previous tab but it does not always work and the camera application does not have much functionality as well so you do not have many things in this camera application you simply have camera and video then you have settings and i think that's it with the camera application the camera application does not have much to offer so the rom does come with this application audio fx and as you can see it is for the equalizer and it works okay i guess it is not that great if you compare it to the wiper for android but it is decent and if you are not that into the sound it would be just okay for you so moving on to the settings you have something called cr droid settings over here which is a great thing to have because basically it helps you to customize your rom and you have many settings over here so as you can see you have the status bar icons you have the carrier label and all you have volte icon i don't know why would we enable the volte icon when this i9300 does not even support the 4g so i don't know why so you have many settings over here you have the status bar settings over here you have quick settings buttons navigation notifications display uh, lock screen power menu so you can customize and overhaul your whole ROM using these and as you can see that the customization just goes on and on so you can customize your ROM to a greater extent so the ROM gives a pretty decent and good battery life I would say great battery life and let me show you that so as you can see I charged it one day and 23 hours ago it was not up to 100% I would say I think it was up to 80% and as you can see it is still running after one day and 23 hours granted that the phone was on standby for the most of the time but I did use it for surfing the net and as you can see it is giving me a great battery life even in the standby but it will give you a great battery life in the daily usage as well so the rom does come with the extreme power saving mode as well so it basically restricts all your performance background activities and all it will try to extend the battery life as much as it can so that is great as well so let's get into the about device now and the ROM does come with the latest security patch so that is great as well and the ROM does come with the latest Android version as well the Android version 7.1.2 but the ROM does not come with the 
Google Assistant and by just holding on to the home button it shows the recent apps so that is that and the Google Assistant is not there so I think we have covered the whole ROM and I would definitely recommend this ROM for daily usage because the Galaxy S3 is an old phone and using heavier ROMs on it will make it slow and the stock Android based ROMs will get you the best performance out of the Galaxy S3 right now. So I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys.